hello so we are back first day yeah okay so what's the problem coding overloaded what does it mean mm, one second I have a problem with my computer let me log out from my game yep all good yeah what do we have today we have a job and why I start this video is not because of what kind of job is it's because I don't have a video with this issue yeah and it's like a spe specific issue with this kind of old laptops, special HP laptops, yeah? So this is a HP... HP... That's the one? G6000? or not yeah that's the model G6000 okay what's the problem with this one yeah let's plug the charger let's check exactly this laptop yeah okay so we have the charger let's plug the charger nice here we do have blue light on the charger yeah okay we do have the blue light on the here on the charging yeah you can see the blue light here yeah is here it is if we press the power button yeah power button is pressed we have some lights goes off comes on yeah you can see it's on check the lights yeah off on off obviously it's nothing on screen yeah it's nothing on screen nothing on and even the the the, the you can see the you can see the reflection of the power button which is doing exactly the same thing on off yeah it's off on off now next things what I will check yeah Nvidia graphics that's that's that that's that's different story yeah so we are speaking we already know what, what is the problem no really not yet but we we just you know we can jump on some conclusion the next thing things what I will check yeah is still restarting I will check the fan yeah I can hear the fan but no airflow yeah so based on the on this thing yeah this keep restarting yeah no picture on the screen no picture and no backlight yeah that's very important nvidia graphics yeah and our overheating issue i can jump straight to the conclusion we have a graphic fault here yeah we'll see if, if I have if I'm right or not yeah we'll see well anyway on these three things yeah Nvidia overheating no picture on the screen yeah I will say straight away you know I, I don't even want to check I will say you know what this is a graphic issue yeah but let's see let's see if I'm right and let's see if we can fix it yeah okay okay this is a little bit complicated to be opened but I will try to be fast I will try to be fast
But this is or on this is a a different side of same fault. Remember we spoke about graphics, no backlight, no picture. But I don't think I have a video with a restarting issue. Yeah? So this is restarting. The laptop is is, is start, yeah? He's doing some auto test, yeah? He failed and probably the super IO chip it's it's uh, uh, resetting the the board yeah and the cycle goes on and on you know it's like a loop so even a restarting issue yeah you'll think you know something else is something else on the board but it's not actually your board is fine the problem is the graphic chip but we'll see we'll see We'll see if I'm right and we'll see how we can fix this problem. So from now, I can say, you know what, this laptop died because of overheating. When it's overheating and you have a dedicated uh, graphic chip, yeah? Yeah, probably the graphic chip will die. I haven't opened this laptop, so I don't know what is inside. So we'll find out together, yeah? No, I don't want to reset the BIOS because it's, the BIOS is not the issue here. I'm quite sure, you know. Also, the second reason why I made this video, because that's why I'm here. So I'm trying to make, him, make videos with something what you can fix. You understand? It's not point making a video look what i can do but you can't do it because you don't have i don't know tools schematics or something else yeah so that's another thing you can do it this fault you can fix it So many screws. I know about the beginner lessons. Don't worry, everything it's 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 I'm working on it, yeah. The problem is I, I order some things like this one this I ordered these things to make it like um, this is a wireless uh, power meter yeah so actually I connect the power supply on this thing yeah and uh, I have on this one I have the reading of the voltage and the amps yeah but from some reason it works like once and after that go faulty and the seller is just long, you know. I hate you know, like sellers, they don't treat you like professional. So I explain him clear exactly what is the problem, what was going on, and. He said, "Let's make some pictures and let's check some. Uh, let me show show me how how you tested them. It's just long. Obviously, you cannot be tricked on eBay, you know, because of the eBay policy. We open a case. At some point, he he will have to replace the thing or uh, refund uh, the money."
So my 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 opinion is these people they are selling these things. They, they have no idea what they are doing on you know. I think they just bought the things cheap from China and they are selling on eBay. So yeah. Hopefully this weekend. We can start a learning process, yeah. Just to show you and teach you the, the different side of the problem, yeah. It's, it's not point going saying things like what you can learn in school. We'll try to learn something else from different point of view. Okay, all the screws are out, looks like. I think this will come out if I remember. Oh. oh, I have a ribbon cable here. <laughs> Lucky me, I haven't broken. But if you open your laptop, just keep in mind you have a ribbon cable here. Okay, you see that ribbon cable. Keyboard. Let's take out the keyboard. take out this you will not believe me but people there yeah they know the exact faults and they are living yeah they are, are making a living way just buying things from eBay so they know these faults okay I'll buy this like with the tablets well you know the, the funny colors they are looking exactly for the tablets with that issue and they are buying the things cheap obviously they are fixing and selling Okay, let's take this out to the power button. No, it's not a power button. The power button is here on this ribbon cable. Yeah, we can check one more time. Yeah, why not? Why not? Charger. We have blue light power on. Off. On. The fan is spinning. Off. On. The fan is spinning. Off. Okay, that's the fault. That's the fault with this laptop. have some cables, we have Wi-Fi cables, power button. Let's take out the Wi-Fi wires. Usually when I see something like that, yeah, let's see black screen or maybe I will try resetting the, reset the I don't know the BIOS or do some checking check the the voltages check the RAM memory yeah can be from RAM memory but no in this case no one you have an overheating problem so check the airflow the best things to check the airflow it's with your lip because it's very insensible yeah This is all. Let's take out the screen, yeah.
Be careful, we have one wire here, that's the microphone wire. Microphone, yeah, probably are two microphones. No, probably only one. Okay. Okay, you can hear me, yeah? Okay, good. One more screw here. I don't think this laptop this laptop was open before. Let's try and open. Something is oh yeah, yeah I remember. Now I remember this model. So you have to open these things. Yeah? I don't remember if you need to open the Wi-Fi card, probably. No. Okay, what about now? So what's wrong now? Screw? No, it's not screw. So what's wrong here? Why this is not coming out? No? There's nothing holding it, it's, it's just a speaker. Okay. We do have a wire here to the speaker. It has the speaker. The speaker is fine. How can I take out this? Ah, that screw. Okay. You can see some dust here. But that's normal. That's fine. Okay, so I don't get it. If the speaker are here, where is the speaker wire? Okay, the speaker wire is here. Good. That's clear now. So we have like a classic laptop. We have a ENE Super IO chip. It's just, you know, it's nice. It's okay. It's fine. So what do we have here? I think this is a version. The graphic chip is missing. Here should be like if you have a big graphic chip here and memory, it's probably it's a different version. I think we have the processor here and actually the graphic chip is here on this area. That's what I think, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Because I can't see other way where, where the, the graphic chip can be. Yeah? Let's open. Let's open. Okay. 
we have a wire here that's the audio from the jack and the microphone what did I told you that's the graphic chip yeah processor graphics fan look like has some dust but we don't know we need to open and check inside okay let's open let's take out the the heatsink yeah and let's check the fan because the fan is speaking fan is speaking with us Okay. So the graphic chip has a thermal pad. That's good. Let's see inside of the fan. Let's see what's there. <coughs> Screws. Should be here. Probably. Yeah, that's one. That's two. And we have one more here. I lost it. Okay. One more here. Yeah. So that's the issue. That's the that's the problem. That's why this laptop died. That's what I think. Again, I think. I'm, I'm sure that's the problem yeah but we'll try to fix the the graphics but you see you see the problem is obviously the air is not going out and it's getting hot 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 and yeah the graphic chip is dying on some point okay that's the problem it's not supposed to be like that okay Okay, let's clean the fan, the, um, the heat sink. <laughs> Better now, yeah? Better now. The fan. What I'm doing with the fan? Well, the fan is fine. It's not making like noises, like, you know. It's not making weird things. What I'm doing usually, yeah, I'm taking out this thing. If you, if if only if you can take it out. If you can't take it out, remember my um, the HP laptop with the injection method. So you can use uh, you can use petrol. On this case, on this case. I will use grease, you know, grease. Let me find it. Let me find it. This is a lot better, yeah, a lot. Okay, grease, just a little bit here, and obviously everything will be fine when you put the, you know, the the fun thing. This one, yeah. So just I put a little bit of grease there. Now I can bet it's like near. Okay, let's put back the fan because now everything looks fine here. So let's get concentrated on the laptop, on the issue, on the fault. Okay, we need one more screw. 
but about this they should be fine this is a Samsung screw yes so everything is fine here you have the fan is spinning thermal paste yeah, we can clean the thermal paste it's not very bad so the thermal paste is still uh, wet you should do it with um, I'll show you with what yeah with the uh, earbud yeah and uh, petrol and ev or I don't know alcohol or yeah well the idea is to like don't scratch these things because if you scratch these things you know the thermal uh, thing is not the same but you can scratch it all if you use thermal paste it's, 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 it's like new you know it's not a big difference okay so this is fine what I will do with this one I will turn around this one so in this case will be different pressure on the on the graphic chip okay let's take the board does the board everything is fine here nothing wrong okay so we have the graphics the problem is the problem is actually you can't fix this yeah this is like a disease you can treat but you cannot heal yeah it's a difference I can't take that connector out okay it's not even important because the problem is not from the board or from the solders the problem is from the chip and to prove this thing yeah actually it's from the chip will not touch the the back actually if I'll come from the back with the heat probably I can fix the issue but I'll come with the heat on the chip only yeah I'll use my flux probably you'll have on description my flux yeah the liquid flux you see the red thing the red uh, around the chip that's some kind of some silicon some glue yeah with a strong smell of vinegar one second Oh, sorry for that yeah so the smell of the, the red thing is like a vinegar it's a strong smell so you just put a little bit and you can see it's going inside that's the the chip it is sucking the the flux oh it's not sucking so I suppose it's full yeah 
Let's have a look under the microscope, yeah, what we are doing. So on this way you will know what you have to do. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. That's our graphic chip. I'll take the hot air, 500 degrees Celsius, yeah. Small nozzle. 500, yeah. Nearly full air. And I try to do some magic. Don't put the hot air on the chip because you'll burn the chip, yeah? Five hundred, yeah. You can't play too much with five hundred, yeah. I try in these sides. I try to avoid the chip. You know, it's it's so easy to burn that chip. Try to avoid that connector. Yeah, you can feel the smell. It's a different smell. That's all. That's all what you have to do. Okay? Now, let's... Use thermal paste and put quickly the heat sink, the heat sink back. I'm using the MX4, you know, the Arctic. Let's put this back. Fun. Yeah, the graphic chip is sitting right on the on the heat sink, so it's no problem here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let's clean this. Let's put back the audio connector. The board. Good. Just be sure you'll uh, route the cables in the right way. Okay, something is wrong here. The Wi-Fi switch. Okay. And something is not okay here, yeah? Or it is? It is? Yeah, it is. Everything is fine, yeah? What do I want to do? I want just to test. 
because if it's not working, there's no point to put back the laptop. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be working. I'm sure about that. But who knows? Sometimes I fail. Maybe, maybe that's the moment. So what do we have here? We have the power button. Let's connect the power button. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll put the screw after. That's not the idea. Let's put the screen. Yeah. We don't need the microphone, we need only the screen. And that's all, let's plug the charger. Charger, charger. No, it's not this one. Is this one? Plug the charger, and let's power up the laptop. Okay, let's power up the laptop. Okay. <sighs> what I'm doing wrong here? The cable is plugged, yeah? That's the touch part. Okay. That's interesting. Oh yeah, it's on. And it's staying on. What about the picture? Hmm? Let's try one more time. Why is no picture on the screen? It is backlight, I can see backlight. But no picture. Maybe that's the moment when uh, I should reset the BIOS. Let me unplug the laptop. This looks fine. The screen connected. Yeah, looks like we have a different issue. The picture is red, green. Yeah. Yeah, it's an issue with the connector. Now it's red, now it's okay. Yeah, it can be a second issue. There's no hard drive. There's no hard drive. Let me check the screen connector again. Oh yeah, we can see some green thing on the 
on the screen connector. Let's check together, yeah. No, no, this one. Uh, this one, yeah. Okay, it's nothing green. No, let me clean this because I don't trust the disconnector with that lines, with that colors. Let me clean it. It can be a screen ribbon cable, can be, yeah. Okay, let's try again. But the main problem, the restarting thing is solved, yeah? So it's not looping, it's not restarting, yeah? That's good. Everything looks fine, let's plug the hard drive. Let's try with the hard drive. It's on. Starting Windows. So everything looks fine now. Uh, what happened? Everything looks fine now, yeah? So that was the problem, the graphics. Okay? That was the issue. Now the fan is spinning, I can feel the, the airflow. So everything is fine. Okay? So keep in mind, if you have this issue, and you think it's no graphics because it's looping, it's restarting, actually it can be graphics. Now, the problem is, can be working one day, one week, one month, one year, but on some point this fault will come back, yeah? Just keep in mind this. Okay, everything is working fine on this one. The fan is spinning normally. Yeah. Yeah, all good, all good. Okay, yeah, so, you know, it's up to you if you want to say, like, look, this is a fix or it's not a fix. You know, this is just, you know, it's a, for your own information, you know, don't take this literally from, uh, from me. Don't take it like a fix or, I don't know. But I have cases like the laptops works like one year, even two years with a graphic fix. And I have laptops, they die probably like one hour. Depends. Even if it's working, soon as the overheating come back, the graphic problem will come back. Yeah? Okay? Just, you know, just... To have in mind, if you have this laptop and you have this issue, it's no point checking on the motherboard different things, when actually the fault is clear. Okay? Good. 
Oh, the touchpad is not connected. Okay. Yeah, I'll put all back together. There is no point to keep you here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you probably on weekend, yeah? Bye.